guys i have been using this serum for a really long time i got it gifted and it was a 200 dollars serum i've been trying out this new serum it's by true skin it's their vitamin c facial serum it's supposed to be a dupe for like a 200 dollars serum so far i'm really liking it like whenever i use it i just feel like my skin just looks so like plump and glowy i got it off of amazon i'll link it but so far i really really like it but hello <laughs> welcome to today's video today is actually supposed to be like a day i tried to do quotes and i went like this a day off but i still will be working today everyone will be vibing enjoying i will be working which i don't mind i have this gua sha by i don't know how to pronounce it sachi you i always see tiktoks about like draining the limp something fluids i really don't know what i'm doing but that's okay so when do i ever know what i'm doing I don't know if that did anything. I really, I probably didn't do it right. <laughs> and of course, I'm going to be wearing sunscreen. I've been trying to wear this one. This is the Mineral Matte Sunscreen from Supergoop. They apparently have the best sunscreens. Let me know if you guys have a sunscreen that you like from them or from anyone else. If you guys saw that viral photo of that neck where a lady wore sunscreen on her face but not her neck for 40 years. If you know what photo I'm talking about, like that was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just getting ready for the morning. I actually have a haul that I want to share with you guys. You know, I love to do a haul. I got some really great stuff that I'm excited to share with you. I'm going to first finish getting ready and then we'll do our haul. Just finished getting ready. Time for our haul. I am so excited for this haul. Today's video is actually sponsored by Naywai. If you guys don't know what Naywai is, they specialize in making comfortable underwear, loungewear, and athleisure for everyday women. They also have an emphasis on technology and innovation, and you can really see it in the clothing items that I'm going to haul for you guys. I also love that they produce their clothes in an organic and sustainable manner. That is something that I've been trying to make more of a priority in my consumerism. Their clothes are comfortable and stylish, but they're not just comfortable and stylish. They are made to live in. That is something that you guys can tell for my personal style is really important to me. I want to be comfortable. I want to be stylish, but I also want to be able to live in my clothes, feel like they are an extension of me. Naywai literally means feeling good on the inside and out, which is exactly the way these items make you feel. This is the Barely Zero Spaghetti Strapless Wireless Bra. If you guys have ever shopped for a bra, you know that shopping for bras is really hard, especially online. What I love about Naywai and especially the Barely Zero line, as long as you're within the listed size range, the Barely Zero line adapts to fit you. The bra's comfort and support adapt to all of your activities that you're doing throughout the day. This material is insane. Look at this. This is so comfortable, so soft, and it's so supportive as well. I love that you can adjust the straps. I love the material too because I hate when you can see your bra lines in the back. This material is just so seamless, but it's so comfortable and stretchy. It also comes in a ton of colors. I also got another bra. This is the Barely Zero Classic Wireless Bra 2.0. The Barely Zero line has something for everybody. They have styles and then this fabric blend that stretches and adapts apps to comfortably fit a wide range of body types. I have friends that have completely different body types than me and they could still wear this bra because it would adapt to their body. These new bras are part of Naywai's ongoing process to make an improvement to their products listening to their customers. That is something that I really love when a brand will take a product that they make, listen to their customers and make it even better. With me and my to-do list, that's something that I try to do. So I love that a brand is doing this, especially with something that you wear every day, like a bra. Also, these nearly zero bras are modest enough that you can wear as a crop top. They also have a wide range of colors. I want wanted to get one that was similar to my skin tone. These are really great for layering under a light shirt, which is perfect for like these really hot summer months. So I highly recommend these. Look at me stretching out the fabric. It's so comfortable. I also have the Barely Zero Mid-Rise Brief. Look at this material. It's so good. They use the highest quality fabrics for superior comfort, which you can totally tell when you're wearing these products. It's so comfortable. It's so thin. I wish you guys could like physically feel this because it's so soft. I think I'm going to wear this today for my outfit. I'm obsessed. This is the Cotton Barely Zero bodysuit. I love this color. This is in the color Brandy. Oh, this is just like the richest, most beautiful color I've ever seen. Something that I love and that you guys can totally tell from my style, these products, they're not just stylish, but they're also comfortable. I feel this aura of like an elevated laid back elegance whenever I wear this. It's just stunning. I will be wearing these all the time. I already know. Just preparing for you guys to see this in all my vlogs. The Barely Zero High Waist biker short this is in the color red bean this is the best material it is so soft i know that i just keep stretching the fabric but it just molds and adapts to your body so well and i like that it's a little bit longer of a biker short so your legs aren't chafing i also got these leggings
leggings. <sighs> this is also from the Barely Zero line. This is all from the Barely Zero line. These are the high-waisted leggings. This is in the color Dried Date. Is this not like the richest, most beautiful color you've ever seen? Can we just take a moment? For fall, this is amazing. I love the waistband. And again, everything in the Barely Zero line can fit a wide range of body types. So as long as you're within the listed size range, this will adapt to your body so well. I love these items. You guys know I will be wearing these so much, especially for fall, these colors. If you guys want to check out anything from the Barely Zero line, I'll have a link down below for you guys. So you can visit nay.life. I'm so excited to wear these. I think I'm gonna wear the bodysuit for my outfit today because I love it so much. This is my outfit of the day. So this is the bodysuit that I showed you guys from Nay. This is very much my style. Let's be honest. I love like a very elevated basic that you can dress up or dress down. Like I could be wearing sweatpants and I would still look cute, but I have this little like silk skirt, that good girl faith in a tight little skirt, Taylor Swift style. Every time I wear a skirt, I think of that song, but I just love that you can take a nice elevated basic and dress it up or dress it down. I feel really cute today. Like I really like my outfit. I feel like this is like a really good transition fall outfit too, because like it still shows skin. So like you're not sweating a ton, especially in Arizona. It's really hot. It's been getting hotter again. It like cooled down for a minute. Now it's getting back up again into like the 110, but I love like these colors together. It just screams fall. I feel so cute today. Again, check out Nay I'll have them linked down below. <laughs> I'm really excited to show you guys my new coffee table coffee table reveal my mom my stepdad came over yesterday And they helped me build my coffee table and hang my TV and by they helped me I mean my stepdad did all of it and my mom and I watched and supported <laughs> I feel like sometimes us helping kind of just gets in the way I'm so excited to show you guys my coffee table. You guys saw me order it ready one two three four this is her. Oh, wow, this is kind of underwhelming. The lighting is not great. Let's move over here. So this is her. I obviously need to like take the tape off. And then I have like little chunks of styrofoam everywhere from the box. But I love this coffee table. Obviously, the next thing I need to get is like a big area rug. I still haven't decided if I want to get like a simple one or like one with kind of like a little like muted pattern. I definitely want something neutral because it's me. I love neutrals. But I love this coffee table. It's nice. It's big. Part of me is like, is it too big? One thing that we have learned about me is I can never tell the scale of furniture. I even taped this out. We need to take the tape off. But I even taped it out and I was like, that's perfect. And then I built this and I was like, uh, my stepdad built it. But I was like, oh, it's a little bit, like it feels bigger. I mean, it's just because it's tall. I really love this. I got it on a Labor Day sale. I'll link it down below if I can remember. But I love this. I think I want to put like coffee table books here. I want to get like a wooden tray. I think I'm going to get like a rectangular one. I put like my candles, maybe like a little plan, just some decor to kind of tie in my media consult. Speaking of my media consult, wait, let me move this. It'll ruin the reveal i was dusting this because as it turns out glass shows dust really easily but my stepdad hung my tv for me i think it looks so good i'm obviously gonna get like one of those cord concealer things like one of those like white strips just put down the center i love this this also is one of those mounts that you can move but i'm not gonna lie i don't really know how to do it like it goes far out i haven't really mastered it yet we'll get there but it's really coming together this is what she looks like when i'm sitting on the couch oh i love oh I was gonna set you on the coffee table, but you're just too short. Also, this skirt is a skort. If you see anything, it's the shorts underneath. Someone commented, they're like, why are you hanging your TV if you just bought this media console to put your TV on? I like the look of a hung TV and I like having something under it. I just think it looks, in my opinion, more put together. I really like it. I think it's really coming in together. I'm thinking of maybe putting like a plant here. I definitely wanna get a different standing lamp, maybe one that kind of like hangs over, if you know what I'm talking about. But my one little pumpkin, actually there's two little pumpkins. It just kind looks like one. I also have another one right there. I've been lighting some fall candles to make it feel a little bit more like fall. The apartment is really coming together. We do need to clean up all the styrofoam and like little things from unboxing it. I also moved this full length mirror in here. I just really wanted to have a full length mirror in my living room. It makes the room look bigger first of all. Second of all, I mean like this is what I do for a living. It's nice to just have like a mirror to like film in kind of. I don't love the way it looks. Like this is not necessarily my favorite thing. Like I would love to just have this mirror alone right here, but I have all my to-do list. So this is what it's gonna be for now. I also kept this box because I'm gonna spray paint something and I thought that this box I could use to like be in the background of the spray paint fire. So I'm just gonna keep it for right now. It feels so nice to have furniture. This isn't completely empty anymore. I think it looks so good. I love it. I'm so happy with it. If you guys remember, I really wanted like a wooden coffee table and I still love the idea of a wooden coffee table, but I just couldn't find one in my price range that I liked enough. And this was like so much cheaper than any of the wooden
wooden coffee tables I was looking at, so it's a win for me. I'm really happy with it. Currently just checking some things off my to-do list. I'll link these down below. I sell these. <laughs> I've really been into like circling in my little check marks instead of like checking them off, like filling them in. I just think it's cuter. Something about it. I think it's cute. Oh, I did this as well. <laughs> this is also another to-do list. This is the weekly to-do list and this is the daily to-do list. This is the weekly extended actually. I love starting off a week with my to-do list. I kind of have like a little bit more random things to do today. Like I have a bunch of little small tasks. So when it comes to doing things like that, I like using my daily just to have it all one place and not getting distracted by the rest of the week. But typically throughout the week, I just use my weekly extended to-do list or my weekly. I really love switching it up. I have a video that I need to edit just like always. We always have some videos to edit. Who would have thought? It's not like it's my job or anything. Haha, <laughs> because it is. Get it? Uh. Also, I think it's important to take a moment and be proud of yourself. So I want you to think of something that you're proud of yourself for. For me, one of my goals for this month is to start drinking more water. I want to drink three of these water bottles every day or at least most days and I do know that I fill up these water bottles like halfway with ice but it's still something like I'm still drinking more water and I just finished my first one whenever I finish one of these I'm just like wow I'm so proud of myself just a little reminder it's okay to be proud of yourself I feel like that's something that I struggled with for a really long time where I was like it feels cocky to be proud of myself no it's not you're allowed to be proud of yourself. You're allowed to achieve things. I don't know if anyone needs to hear that, but that's something that I needed to hear a long time ago and I didn't. So I'm gonna fill my water bottle up. And we're on to the second water bottle of the day. Yay! Woohoo! I think I'm gonna edit my video and then after I'm gonna edit my video, I think we're going to clean up my living room. I just keep putting it off because I don't want to. I'm literally like holding my emotional support water bottle like it's a baby. I do that all the time when I'm in the gym. I'm like, holding on to this thing for dear life. I don't know why. It's kind of like comforting. And one thing that is really exciting about getting my coffee table is I can now buy decor for the coffee table. <laughs> I love decorating, you guys know. I live for this stuff. I just feel so cute today. I can't get over it. I feel also very supported. <laughs> I would say I'm about 90% done editing that video, but my computer started being like a little glitchy. The editing software that I use just like takes up so much of my computer. I even got a computer with like higher random access memory. <laughs> Whenever I hear random access memory, I think of that album that Taylor Swift lost album of the year to the Grammys for Red. Random access memories, Daft Punk. I've never heard that album, but I do know they won album of the year over Red by Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, whenever that happens, I kind of just am like, let's let my computer sit for a minute, let's let her breathe, and I will work on something else. I need to figure out what I want to work on, but I'm sure I have other stuff. Just kidding, I finished it. <laughs> I had to close my blinds because my apartment is like facing kind of like the fun area of my apartment, like the community center. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Like my apartment is like facing where people hang out and it's the day off. So everyone is outside like grilling, enjoying, hanging out, talking directly outside of my apartment. And like they could literally see in and it was kind of awkward. And I was like, Ugh. so I will be hearing people talk all day. On the weekends, my apartment's pretty loud. Like people in the pool, like blasting music, talking, grilling. I can hear all of that in my apartment. And it gets a little annoying if I'm just being Frank. But like they're allowed to enjoy <laughs> themselves outside like they pay for it But yeah, I had to close my blinds because I was like people are literally looking at me right now in my home Not a fan not a fan if you are getting an apartment keep that in mind because that's something that I didn't really think of I was like, oh, I might hear noises from the pool I didn't think about people like physically being able to see into my apartment just on a regular day If I'm being honest, I'm not that thrilled about my lunch today. I made this recipe last week and I had marinated two chicken breasts so I had like one left, but it was like this caprese chicken recipe. And honestly, like I just didn't like it that much. It was kind of gross, but I had marinated the chicken and I didn't want to waste food or money. I would never make it again. I'm not even gonna tell you what's in it because it's gross. <laughs> It's already 4 p.m. I don't know where the day went. People are still partying outside my apartment. That's okay. So I am so excited to make dinner tonight. I'm literally ecstatic. Let me show you why. This is why. Oh, I just got water all over my floor. This is why. Basil, I'm gonna put it back. 
Oh, I should get cheese too. Wait, hold before I do this because I'm going to put something on my list. I had to buy a lot of basil last week to make that balsamic chicken that I was talking about. Turns out the basil was like a garnish. It wasn't even like a part of the dish. So I had to buy all that basil because that was the smallest basil they had. And I was like, what do I do to get rid of some of this basil? I'm going to make pesto. Homemade pesto. I am so excited. Literally, I've been looking forward to this for all, like all week. Last week, I was just like, I can't wait to make this pesto. I love pesto. I'm a pesto girly and I've never done this at all. Like I've never made my own like sauces or anything like that. Like this is so fun that I'm gonna make homemade pesto. <laughs> I am so excited, kind of nervous. So we're about to go to the store because I went to like three different stores and they didn't have pine nuts. I found a recipe without pine nuts, but like something about the pine nuts really makes me feel like it would make the recipe better. It really does. So so we're about to go to a grocery store, get that. I also thought I could get some mozzarella to make a caprese, like a little like appetizer as well. And then I also have another recipe that's like a basil creamy chicken. Mm -hmm. Cause I, that's a lot of basil. Like if I go through all that basil, I mean, that's on me. <laughs> but I'm really excited to make it. Like I've really been looking forward to making this pesto. So we're about to go to the grocery store to get the rest of our ingredients. Dried nuts. <laughs> I don't think this is it. Wait, I don't need them dried. I found them. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait. Obviously, I'm gonna get some Reese's pumpkins while I'm here. I have to. I had the hardest time finding anything in that grocery store. I don't typically go here. I go to Trader Joe's, but Trader Joe's doesn't always have everything that I need. They had the most confusing layout. I was like, where's the cheese? You would assume the cheese would be with the dairy. No, the cheese was with the lunch meat. It made no sense. I really wasted a lot of time. And I like, I used the app and the app was like aisle 20 and there was no aisle 20. I don't know, but I'm here. I'm back. I got the jumbo of the Reese's pumpkins, the jumbo pack. I'll probably go through that pretty quickly knowing me, but we're feeling good. It is officially pesto time. You guys do not understand how excited I am for this. Like I've been looking forward to this for so long. I know I already said that, but like I have been thinking about this since the second I woke up this morning, just making this pesto. I hope it's good. I will link the recipe down below for you guys. Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I'm also planning on filming a TikTok of me making it. Please, not please. If you want to follow me on TikTok, you can. I've been really trying to get into it. I'm just so excited. Ooh. I'm halving the recipe just because I don't think that all of it will fit in this little thing. So far, I'll link the recipe down below, but I did a cup and a half of basil and then a fourth cup of olive oil. Now I need, oh wait, what is half of a third? It's like a mental bath of Parmesan. I'm so excited for this, you guys, I'm so excited. Should I set you here while I do it? I got this shaved Parmesan at the grocery store. I thought it would be fresher than like the craft. Like I said, I'm filming a TikTok. <laughs> okay, now we're doing the pine nuts. I really hope this makes it better. <laughs> pine nuts everywhere. Should I double the garlic? I'm a garlic girl. Okay, time for the moment of truth. I'm really nervous. I hope this goes well. I don't have a food processor. I only have a blender, so hopefully it will work. I Googled it if you could do it on a blender and it said yes. I also think I might be allergic to basil because I'm getting really itchy. Like ever since I touched it, I'm gonna shake it first. Just, we can't blend it for too long, but ever since I touched the basil, I'm like really itchy. Wait. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Maybe it needs more liquid. I'm just gonna keep trying it. Oh no. I added a splash of water. Mmm, it smells good. Taste test, taste test. The official taste test. It's a little bland. It's like a little underwhelming. I added like a literal splash of water because it wasn't blending and now I feel like it's maybe too runny. I also think I'm gonna season it with some more salt and pepper. I'm just gonna all right, like scrape all this off. Just like a little bland. <laughs> This is my first time doing this, so I didn't really know what I was doing. And considering this is my first time, I'm impressed. Okay, that helped. Mm -hmm. and, hmm. I have a lot more basil left, but I can try this again. For my first try, honestly, it's not that bad. Ooh, I wanna get like kind of a cool shot of me doing that. 
<laughs> I know that I made that pesto, but I'm honestly not that hungry right now. Like I'm literally trying to get hungry so I can make dinner and eat it because I'm so excited but it is what it is. I'm just gonna wait until I'm hungry. I just wanna eat the pesto. I'm finally getting hungry again, but the loud people are back outside my front door, so. I'm thinking of making salmon with pesto on top of it, and then I'm deciding between doing like an angel hair pasta with the pesto on top of it, or steamed broccoli drizzled with the pesto on top. I could do both. I could do like a little, little, little bit of angel hair pasta, like just the smallest amount. I might. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Also, I asked you guys if you wanted me to start posting my recipes and things that I'm making on TikTok and Instagram, so I will be filming <laughs> another TikTok that I can post. Sorry if it's annoying. <laughs> so tonight, like I said, we're doing salmon. I think I'm gonna see in it with salt, garlic powder, and pepper. And maybe like a cayenne or like paprika. Actually, I don't know if that'd go good with salmon. So maybe not, maybe just salt, pepper, garlic powder. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the air fryer is going. It's on the fish setting. I actually decided against doing the pasta. I think I can just do that another night. I literally forgot to put the pesto on top of the salmon. I feel so dumb. Pesto. Been chilling in the fridge for a little bit. Oh, I might have put way too much on here. While the air fryer is going, I'm steaming some broccoli. I added some minced garlic, and then I think I'm gonna do rice. <laughs> In the meantime, I really feel like I should clean up my kitchen because it's gotten a little out of hand. Okay, moment of truth for the salmon. I've never done this before, so I don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> what? Ew, it's green. Like, I guess I should have realized that it was green. I don't know why I'm like shocked that it's green, even though there's pesto on it. I chopped up some of the pine nuts that I thought I could sprinkle on to maybe add a little bit of a crunch. I'm about to drizzle on some pesto onto the broccoli. This is not going well. This is not so much as a drizzle as like I'm just like dollabing things on. <laughs> this is not turning out as well as I was hoping it would. A little sprinkle of nuts. <laughs> this looks so bad. So not the best presentation, but let's try the taste. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I like the salmon. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try the broccoli. Wait, I want to get like a nut on it. <laughs> the broccoli has like a little bit of pesto and some nuts. It could use more pesto. Overall, not bad. It doesn't look that great, but it tastes better than it looks. I feel like all I ever do these days is just clean my kitchen. Like if I have a free moment, I'm cleaning my kitchen constantly. <laughs> but I'm probably going to end the video here. I'm about to go to bed soon. I love you guys so much. Make sure to check out Nawa. I'll link them down below for you guys. Really great pieces made to live in. Link them down below. I love you. Mwah. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.